Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as the Zulus. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, we finally managed to get uh, access to Impi, so now we can start uh, slowly upgrading our units. It will take a while. Uh, it's around 1000 gold per unit and it's both uh, the upgrades to Zulus and uh, I mean Zulus uh, to Impi and upgrades to Cannon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll do my best to get the gold or get every bit of gold that I can. Also, I made some changes before I started recording. Uh, first of all, now our cities can start growing again. So I changed some tile assignments. And uh, we have, for example, here a uh, city growing in two terrains. So that should be a free MP. Uh, plus, uh, some more cities are quite close. I think within like 15 terrains, we should get four or five free MP. And also we are working on the alliance with Ormus, that should help a lot because there will be food for all our cities, uh, just have to get uh, the emissaries. Uh, it's like five turns each, I'm even thinking about buying one emissary uh, to really speed things up, though I'm not sure if I want to, uh, want to invest into anything but uh, uh, those upgrades, so we will see about that. I queued up... Uh, Four caravans, um, one in our capital, one here that we will slowly work on uh, while our emissaries are traveling since we can have only one emissary on the map at a time. So we have some free time to work on something else and two caravans here uh, that we can speed up thanks to our religion. Also, it seems that we can't uh, get the free or free units, faith units, let's call them faith units, from Zealotry. Because uh, the religion with Zealotry would have to be our majority religion, it seems. And I'm not talking about majority religion in the city, but in our empire. Uh, it's odd, because, for example, we have access to synagogue. Uh, so when you want a building from a religion that's not the majority, it's fine. As long as the uh, religion is majority in the given city, this is the proof. But Zelotry works differently, and uh, yeah, we won't be buying units with Faith. But that means we can uh, use Faith for something else. Right now it will be spreading our religion into other cities. Uh, but uh, after that we can just Faith buy more buildings, uh, get monasteries everywhere, that's more science. Then get the, the Mandirs, so yeah, we all just have to get the unit somewhere else. Now... Speaking about spreading religion, let's start with um, an Inquisitor in our capital. I'm hoping that one Inquisitor will be enough to flip Nongoma. And also, we can uh, kindly ask Jerusalem for some help, and I will ask them for some faith. Yes, please. Now we are getting more culture every time we get a tribute from a city-state and we will buy another inquisitor here because you want to spread religion these two cities. Oh, that reminds me about uh, Monopoly on Copper. We did get uh, some copper from the cities that we conquered, but even if I took uh, uh, all the Carthaginian cities, I still wouldn't get the Monopoly would be nice that 10% production is one of the strongest monopolies. But I checked, uh, where is it? The monopoly screen. And, uh, where is it? Uh, here? Yeah, there are 15 tiles with copper on the map. So I would have to control 8, and uh, that's not enough. So here I would get 6, I think. So even taking over cartridge completely wouldn't give me the monopoly, so I didn't miss anything there. Um, <laughs> Do we want to end the turn? I think... Yeah, we are done. Actually, no, I forgot to do this off camera. I apologize for that. But um, I want to check our trades. Come on. Uh, there we go. Yep, definitely want to sell cotton. And I'll quickly check if there is anything else. Do you want iron? No, not really. What about you? Do you want iron? That's a little bit better. One iron for one gold per turn. Man on. About you? No. Oh, you want horses though. 
Uh, I think you can have two horses for three gold per turn. Trying to get as much as I can from everything. What about you? No, I will give you one iron. It's another trade with our vassal uh, for uh, like another modifier. Okay, I think now we are... Oh, no, we are not done yet. We can upgrade a unit and the first upgrade will be here. I want to get one MP that will stand on the most exposed tile. It will be a lot more difficult for Denmark to kill an MP than uh, either Longsword or a Pikeman. But I think the Pikeman right now is like the weakest unit that we have around here. So let's boost him. And uh, now I think we can end the turn. Uh, just one more thing. Okay, no more uh, city-states that would be willing to give us something. Oh, and Denmark decided to attack or do something. Let's say they decided to do something. And of course I forget uh, one thing that I wanted to do. There was a knight here that I wanted to... Ah, oh, come on. Wanted to kill the knight. Hmm. Switch these to attack. The kill. We can do some damage. Ah. Oh, stupid mistake. I missed a the kill there. You can move... I will stay right here, and I'll start uh, moving units this way. Okay, here, let's... Oh, this is not in our territory. Never mind, well, I'm already on the tile, so let's remove the road. Uh, you can attack... Kill the Barbarian, and... I'd have a bit of a problem. I can't stop the skirmisher. He's told me that the Inquisitor is enough. Yep, it is. Okay, this is pretty far away, but I'll send this guy as well, in, just in case the uh, skirmisher decides to move this way. And, um, oh, there's one more thing that I noticed. Uh, these two skirmishers, that I, I mean skirmishers, uh, trebuchets that I'm moving right now, one already has the plus one range, this one will get it in two attacks, but um, they get it once they get to level seven, and I noticed that these two trebuchets are on level five, about to get to level six, so they are uh, really far away from the plus one range. Uh, so, we'll only have uh, two trebuchets with uh, plus one range for the Siege of Tunsberg, but that we'll have to do, I mean, still, it will just be a question of time, right, when we are attacking uh, from tiles that the Denmark that Denmark can't reach. It will just be slower, and, uh, well, we all have to wait somehow, uh, get more experience for these two. Okay, what else can we kill? Um... How bad idea would this be? Really bad. Just fortify. You can start moving. You will just sit where you are. Okay, this guy can just move and attack and move out of the way. Oh, 
Oh, that was a kill. Great. I thought he would survive on like five hit points. I'll take that. And uh, on the other side... Can we kill the pikeman? Let's attack this guy. Yeah, we definitely can kill the pikeman. Okay, so that's two more kills for us. I think I'll even send a skirmisher this direction. Um, okay, one turn and we will have the caravan. Maybe I should queue up some more things. Uh, what do we want? Armory, that's for sure. I could grab a national monument here. I probably should. I mean, we are working three specialist slots that more than in other city. Uh, also, amphitheater might not be a bad idea. Maybe amphitheater even before the national monument, and then we will see. Mm, what about our temples? Oh, we have. Or we are not getting anything special for our temples. These are the classic yields compared to amphitheaters that are stronger because of one of the wonders. Uh, okay, wait. And. Did I miss anything? I think the emissary should be safe. The last thing I want is to lose him, but barbarians should be pretty far away. Okay, go. You can sit where you are. You will sit in the city as well. So then, Mark, what's it gonna be? Moving away? And I have to keep an eye on uh, Buffalo because um, I want to take it. I was thinking about how I want to take it. I will wait for Denmark to take it. And on the same turn, I will then attack. I already am preparing units here. Uh, in the previous episode, I was thinking about declaring on Indonesia. But I think I'll be able to take Buffalo without making another enemy. So that's definitely better. And here we are growing. So oh, that's size 8, that will, I mean 7, that will uh, give us uh, free MP in what, in like 20 turns. And uh, here we have a free MP, can get one promotion. I know that um, we can't even compare the, the new MP to uh, like our veteran units, but even the new MP are just so strong that... Um, I will be sending them directly to the front line. Question is where exactly? Uh, I think here. One. And I'll move the skirmisher north. 145, 45, 45. Okay, here we can do. Oh, that was pretty decent damage to Teresio. Move back. You two will switch some more damage. Well, that wasn't quite as impressive. Maybe the knight should actually stand somewhere where he can heal uh, and won't have to move every turn. He'll move this way. And how does it look like with the barbarians? They're not moving. Well, good for us. Jump into the city. Pop the emissary. So now we are friendly. That means more food for our capital, which of course is not quite enough. I... I...
What is this? Maria declared on William. Wait, wait, wait. How did she declare on William without declaring on uh, Denmark? Oh, there we go. I missed the part where, where she declared on Harald. She's crazy. She declared like on everyone. She, she declared on everyone except us and like Venice. What the hell? Yeah, good luck with that. Now oh, there goes another save. Are you at war with anyone? War with Denmark, Portugal, Netherlands? Uh, I was hoping that uh, Siam would be at war with Hiawatha. Come on, people, I'm trying to buy some time for you so you can develop and you're just tired of fighting each other. Okay, armory into... what do we want here? Arena? Yeah, let's go for Arena. And uh, you're done with the mine. Yep, so let's build a village here. Fortify, fortify... What are you doing? Oh, heading for those barbarians. Okay, go, go, go. Here is a caravan. Let's check our options. Uh, trade routes available. That will take a while. And we want only in, uh, internal... No, we want internal food. Don't want internal production, and we can get rid of these two. And um, we want into city. Yeah, that's this is what we want. Uh, where is our capital? Doesn't really matter where we started the caravan. It's eleven point eight. I want how many? I want let's say one caravan to the capital and then the, the the remaining caravans will go from our capital to other cities. Maybe I could now let's just let's just send the first one come on from Ulundi here, I think. And what else? Fortify. You can return to the city and you guys keep moving. We'll need those two to, uh, to retake Buffalo. Fortify. 1200. That's enough for another upgrade. Which one do we want now? This one. And then either this one or if the trebuchets are in position, we will upgrade the. Those two with the extra range. Okay. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, let's move. And uh, where did this guy come from? Fortify. Okay, now we can end the turn. Just way too many active units um, getting lost. Time to time. Oh, really? How the hell did that happen? Dude. This is why I want to have the Impi in the front line. It's so much more difficult to kill those.
this should be safe, I think. Oh, there it is. Forty-three, and now it's thirteen. So I managed to shave off thirty turns from the growth. That's pretty decent. And uh, what else? Okay, all you can do is hit this guy. I may have to act with the knight, yeah, otherwise I wouldn't kill the Tercio. Wait. I think the knight can just Go to Attila's court. It will take a while to heal him up, so might be useful and work as a garrison for a while. Right. Losing grasp on the Vatican. Don't really care about that. Can we somehow kill the Berserker? Yeah. I think so. Okay, how much money do we have? We have enough money. Yeah, the missionary. This missionary should be enough to spread the religion to these, these two cities with the help of two inquisitors. So one more inquisitor, and then we can fire and let's start buying buildings. Go. Uh, you want iron. Three iron for one gold. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But you also want furs, which actually might happen. For eight gold per turn. Somehow we are making 200 gold per turn. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. Hmm. I'd really like to kill the knight. One, two. E this is why Impi are so overpowered. And you can now run away. So he take he took what seventeen damage and dead. How much was that? Like sixty five to the night. And that's the one that just spawned. Okay, another caravan will go. That's a good question. All the way north to Undini. So 
but it's 24 returns reduced to 11 not as impressive as this one but still pretty good uh event ended Russian turn in oh we lost the war fervor i didn't know that we still had it uh that kind of sucks but um this is a long war so we might get it again if we get lucky uh what else and goes for conversions yeah we are not winning this one all these quests where it's like a race who can get most of something during 90 turns uh, will go to Denmark. And uh, Pestilence, hey. How unexpected. What do we have? We have... Double sheep might be stable. That would be plus seven production. Okay, plus seven production sounds pretty damn good. Can I kill this guy without losing the MP? Wait, and uh, city state cleared the camp and return back home. Wait, forty five. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, I can't really do anything with this, so I'll have to focus on Buffalo and start sieging Tunsberg as soon as possible. Okay, go. Fortify. History day, no. Madame captured, and yeah, that's not a big surprise. The city was already uh, in the red. I'm losing grasp on Ormus. Where is Ormus? Oh yeah, uh, that's not a big surprise. We need two more emissaries to take it. And Pestilence. Oh well. How do we get maximum out of this? We can just kill the knight. I don't think I can do anything about this one. Let's make sure the trebuchets get the experience. And this is the new skirmisher. Let's give him experience and kill it with the crossbowman. On. There we go. Wasn't sure about this kill, but it worked. It 
So this guy is the one with extra range. Them this way. Fortify. Still shoot. You can once. Now don't tell me that this wasn't enough. How the hell is our mission there so weak that you can't flip a city with only 9 people? Do you have the money to upgrade another unit? I think we do, but I want to wait for the trebuchets, so let's just end the turn. When they arrive in position, I will upgrade them and then we start sieging Buffalo. Or maybe you'll start sieging Buffalo a little bit earlier. I thought that the city would survive one more turn. Never mind. There is the promotion. We kill the Tercio. I think we can. Yep. Some pretty heavy losses around here. Okay, you need healing. Fortify. Uh, you can start fixing another farm. We done with the road? Yes, we are. Okay, more roads. Where's Vancouver? Probably won't be able to finish that quest. Okay, also in Goddess. And... Checking if we can get another tribute, but we can't. Okay, go. Yeah, sure, I'll take this. Actually decided to attack the MP. That's like a bad idea.
Hmm. Thinking how I want to defend this. I can't leave the citadel open. I have to switch. I'll just hack the lens connect. Wait. There we go. Another MP. Wait. I think the incense will be better than the citadel. I'll lock the cattle, there's more production and also I want to improve it once I'm done with the road. Oh, this is a problem. If Indonesia loses Jakarta, Denmark will be able to vassalize the most likely. Oh. I know that we have one more city that needs our religion, but I would have to get an uh, Inquisitor and the Missionary for that, and then just too much right now. I'll start working on those buildings. Okay. Are fine. What the heck? Oh, that's the knight somehow managed to get through the river? Really? Things are not going exactly as planned, I have to say. Should be able to take down this guy. Okay, let's see. How fast can we take the city down? I'll just leave the trebuchet where it is. Because then Mark can't attack 
Peru, Indonesian territory. It will come down. And let's send an imp this way. I have a feeling we all need some units there in like 20 turns. Look at that! Yes! Finally! <laughs> on the... Uh, not on the receiving end of these robberies, but finally I managed to steal something. And that's a lot of money. But this just shows how much money Denmark has right now. We were able to steal 4,000. They probably have like 30,000 uh, in the treasury. And they can just keep getting more units. But, well, it's good to know. That means we can just steal more and more. Let's log this. The farm, I mean farm village, should be done any turn now. Oh, come on. Hmm, upgrades. Upgrade. Well, a thing. Next turn. I hope that no one will uh, steal the gold from us now. Yeah, and uh, Denmark just vassalized Indonesia, I think. That is unfortunate. Thinking about just moving to the city. Let's get more faith. Uh, 
And of course, he survived on like, yeah, two hit points, great. What is this? Oh, just built more mines, I think. I think we are done with the uh, emissaries. We now have to build envoys, and those are more expensive. I may even. Um, may even um, buy one envoy to really speed things up. I want that food. My love king. I just lost so many trades. Don't tell me that I can't get them somewhere else. This looks decent. Hi, young man. Salute you. Dumb. Die Berta. Okay. Send the knight forward. Here maybe I need to know if uh, Denmark or Indonesia try to attack Carthage. I'd have to help there. I still want to have vision uh, on Hiawatha just in case he tries something. Go. No. We took way too much damage there. Uh, open board this. No. Okay, can we take the city, but ideal and not lose units in the process? could take the city with the swordsman, but it would be just one hit from anywhere and the swordsman would die, and I don't want that. Come on, kill him. I will use this swordsman to take the city, and exit. How strong is it? 17? Well, that's kinda bad.
Okay, this should be fine. Uh, if they attack with these two units, that's everything that can attack. They won't be able uh, to get the city. Uh, it should be okay. After that, I can clear everything. So Buffalo should be ours. Courthouse, or maybe even walls and then courthouse. And kill the... What? Why the hell did that happen? Um, a unit shouldn't leave Citadel when it attacks. It's same as the city, when the garrison attacks, even if it gets a kill, it stays in the city. And it should be the same with the Citadel. Now I'm in the range of the sit. Oh, come on, game! Don't do this to me. That's a bug. I know that know that I have attacks on the Tercio, but I'd rather uh, get um, those upgrades finally. Move back. Will be another upgrade. We're going to need more melee units. Um, this way. Should be a farm soon, so I might as well lock it. Yeah. We have a tile that we can work around here, well the forest will have to be enough. Hiawata Pakal declared on Hiawata? He declared on Hiawata? Is Hiawata... No. Why are they at war? They have defensive pact with Denmark? Dude. Okay. And I think I'll have to make a cut here because I need to check everything. It's getting more and more complicated. I don't know who is uh, now allied with who and uh, also check the situation. I was hoping that Indonesia would survive a little bit longer, but they just fell in about five turns. They were a Danish vassal. And that complicate, complicates things, because, because we now don't have this buffer. And Denmark can attack through. Oh, hello. We are here. Production. This is interesting. So yeah, this will be all for today. Mm. It's not going exactly as I planned, but at least they're able to take Buffalo, that was the plan. And uh, now that means both these two units are free to move to Tunsberg. I'll position them somewhere around here so that they can start attacking the city. And in the next episode, they'll probably be the plan, try to uh, get Tunsberg or at least figure out if can take it. How many units uh, can Denmark send to defend it? 
So yeah, this episode is over. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.